Hi, I'm Dr. Ben, and the next question is from Kelly. Um, let's see. On behalf of Fraser, age seven, from Devon, England. Hello, Fraser. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. So, question is, how is Santa going to be allowed to deliver presents to lots of different houses? And what if he goes into a house with COVID? Awesome questions. All right. Now, first of all, I'm just a regular person. I'm doing my best to stay on the nice list and off the naughty list. So no special insight, but in terms of science, I can tell you how it would work. Um, and then I have a connection that we might be able to get some more authoritative uh, sort of answer on. So we'll see about this. Um, but for now, yeah. All right. First of all, a couple of things that I know about Santa. One, he's pretty well connected. And we know this because he's able to go into your houses and every house um, on Christmas Eve and deliver presents. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in with your city council and uh, national government. And, uh, yeah, they even have a Santa tracker uh, um, uh, from, I forget if it's the U.S. Air Force or something like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Santa, Santa's in tight with the government. And so there are um, special provisions that allow people that are working for and with the government to do some things that um, we're not recommending that other people do. So I, I think that part's going to be okay. Now, the real question is, how is Santa going to stay safe? So that's the other part. And that's where the second thing that we know about Santa comes in. He's uh, very observant. He sees you when you're sleeping and he knows when you're awake and he knows who's been nice and naughty and all that stuff. And so I would bet he knows what's going on. He understands the COVID situation. And also, I mean, he's got access to some pretty good technology, at least based on Christmas's past that I've seen. And so I think he would have access to things like a powered air purifying respirator and maybe uh, some Tyvek suits and gloves. And he's got a pretty big sack. He could fit a lot of that stuff in there, maybe even change between every house. How's he going to do it? <sighs> yeah, you have to ask the big guy himself. But I got a feeling. I got a feeling that it's going to at least be possible. Yeah, I, I don't think he's going to let you down. And even for the people that have COVID, I think, you know what? Uh, a little Christmas done in a safe way is probably going to uh, be good for them as well. So I think, I suspect, there's going to be a way, and I think it'll be all right. But yeah, there's equipment out there that um, would let you go into a room even if you knew you were going to be facing COVID and stay safe. And it's there's lots of um, versions of this uh, equipment out there, and I bet, I bet they're going to have access to that even at the North Pole. Uh, I would imagine it's going to be a priority, in fact. So yeah. Until I can get a more authoritative answer for you, that's at least what I suspect. I think there's still going to be a Christmas, and I think it's going to be all right, uh, COVID or no. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks very much for a wonderful question, and um, yeah, I hope everything is very well with you there in Devon. Uh, this has been Ask Dr. Ben.